How's it going guys? This is Holly with Grindworks and today we are answering a very important question and that question is how does a double action OTF knife work? Now literally until I made the decision to make this video I did not know the answer to this question myself. Uh, you may or may not have noticed if you've watched these videos before that I'm relatively new uh, to knives and to the knife world in general. So I like playing with them, I like looking at them, I like cutting things with them, but I don't actually know a whole lot about them. So, you know, as I'm filming these videos, I'm learning probably more than you guys are as I'm going along, which is one of the things that I love most about making them. So how about I stop talking and let's just get right into this. So for this video, I decided to use my beloved AKC F16 with the copper, what is this thing called? Inlay, that's right, the copper inlay which I did a patina on a while back. I'll admit I was a little nervous about taking this thing apart, but hey, I experimented a little bit and it turned out just fine. You're gonna get yourself a little bitty screwdriver tool. This one uses the hex bits. And you're gonna remove all the screws from this front facing plate scale, you know, this half of the handle that faces up. I already did that so you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me do it. So then you just lift this part off and Ta-da! More than likely, the thumb slide is going to immediately fall off. Not to worry, it's supposed to do that. I may or may not have freaked out a tiny bit when mine did that. So inside, you will find the spring, which sits on this long metal plate, some hinged latches. There's one here and one hidden underneath the plate back here. And of course the blade underneath. Now I am going to remove the spring and the plate so we can take a closer look. They lift off pretty easy. The spring has these sort of longer tabs, which not only help it kind of hug this metal plate, but this is also what connects it to the blade, which is going to be very important for our blade deployment. So I'm actually going to take the spring off here now. Let's put that aside. So spring, metal plate, and then of course we have our blade which is housed inside this channel. Now you'll notice that the blade has this disc on the tang, which serves a couple different functions. One of which is to guide it out of the handle nice and straight as it kind of goes down this channel you know, that's rounded so it doesn't catch on anything as it's exiting the handle. Let's go back to these little latches I was talking about. They have springs inside. It might be a tad hard to see, but... Ding, 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 ding. Can you see that? So they can be moved out of the way. These latches are what hold the blade in place either when it's been deployed or when it's closed, like it is now. So like I can sit here and, and fiddle with the blade, it's not going anywhere because this latch is holding it in place. There are notches in the blade that kind of correspond with these little latches, again, to keep it in place. So when you push the thumb slide, let's get our plate now. The thumb slide kind of connects like that so that when you're pushing on the thumb slide you are pulling on this whole plate and because the spring is hanging onto the end of the blade see that little notch down there this end of the spring fits perfectly down there let me briefly reassemble this so you can see how it works so picture that you've got your thumb slide up here as you are pushing on the thumb slide, this whole thing kind of moves forward, right? And that protrusion on this plate is going to push the hinged latch out of the way, which is going to allow the spring to contract, right? So you've stretched the spring, which has placed tension on the blade and, you know, created that kinetic energy that you learned about in the sixth grade. And as you continue pushing, it quote unquote unlocks this little latch right here, allowing the spring to contract and propelling the blade out the front of the handle. At which point, that second hinge that we talked about that's under here, that will engage on a notch on this side of the blade, on this side of the blade, essentially catching the blade to lock it in place. So after the blade is deployed, that's what keeps it from going back in 
or coming all the way out. Then when you pull the thumb slide in the reverse direction, the same process takes place. The plate moves backwards, stretching the spring, because this end is now immobilized by the, the disc on this end of the blade. See, the blade is all the way out, disc is sitting right here, it's, the blade is locked in with this latch, so this end of the spring cannot move. But as you're sliding, as you're moving the thumb slide this way, you're forcing this whole plate that way. That stretches the spring again in this direction. As you continue to move the plate this way, the hinged latch that I showed you on this side, through a similar process, is pushed out of the way, opened up, unlocked, however you want to say it, which again releases the spring and allows the blade to move back into the handle. Hopefully that was clear as mud. I described that the best that I could. It took me a while to figure it out myself. I feel like I understand how it works now. Hopefully I was able to convey that accurately to you guys. Now I'm gonna put these screws back in here and we're going to do some fancy little video editing and forward this so you don't have to sit here and watch me put in two, four, six little tiny screws. Pro tip, don't strip your screws. Okay. Here's the moment of proof, guys. Did I break it? Ta-da! Works like a charm, guys. There you have it. That is how a double action OTF knife works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And as always, after you give it a nice thumbs up, subscribe so that you are the first to know when the next video comes out. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and I hope you have a good day.